Last July, Baxter came in and said, I was pulling all the hair from beneath his, ab from on his abdomen and his hind legs. He's itching and itching and itching. And um, what can make cats itch is flea allergies, um, food allergies mu much less commonly, and pollens and molds, or hay fever. Um, so Baxter was treated for fleas, and he was given a shot of cortisone, and he, and he, and he got better uh, right away. And then six months later, um, he's back with some of the same symptoms. So that's what hay fever can um, cause, is when pollens and moles counts go way up, then the, the itching starts again. So we're going to try another shot of cortisone <clears throat> and see if all the uh, itching goes away. We don't want to use cortisone all the time, but a couple times a year is not a big uh, dose of cortisone. There is other things that you can try, like uh, cyclosporine or atopica, which has now been approved for cats, and that does help with itchy skins. But make sure your cat doesn't have fleas, because fleas can cause a big problem, and there's lots of good flea control products for cats. Um, also, you can give your cat a pill of prednisone every other day if it's real itchy. And, uh, but most cats don't like to be pilled. I wouldn't want to be pilled every day if I was a cat. Because just the fact of opening up their mouth like that, you can see already they get mad, but you can't open their mouth like that and drop a pill on the back of their throat. Could we do that to you? It's much easier to give you a shot, and I'll show how that works. Okay, let's look at Baxter's belly. So Baxter has lost his hair all through his belly because he licked it out. He groomed it away. But you don't see any fleas or flea specks of flea dirt, which is flea poop. You don't see that. And he's undressed himself. But when we gave the shot, all the hair came back which is good. Isn't that right, Baxter? He says, I don't like this. And then he does, he has groomed himself, a little, he has uh, groomed himself, has some hair loss up there. And this is where you'll see fleas. You can, you can uh, run your thumbs up along the spine and sometimes you'll see a little dark thing scurry away and that's a flea. Or you'll see black specks, which is flea dirt. but we don't see any, which is good. Well, so Baxter, why don't we give you a shot of cortisone? I think that's a good thing to do. So I'm going to go to my cortisone cabinet. Well, it's down here. Isn't that convenient? And I'm going to draw out um, a little short-acting and a little longer-acting cortisone. And we'll make sure, we'll see if that works for Baxter. So that's the short-acting cortisone, and this is the long-acting cortisone. And then what we do is we, giving cats a sh is a lot, shots is a lot easier than putting a pill down their throat. All you have to do is pinch their skin, and he's watching the dog outside, which is always nice. So his attention is elsewhere. And then I just put the needle right into under the skin and then I inject the the cortisone right there and he didn't even move and I guarantee putting giving a cat a pill is a lot harder than that but if you give a cat a pill there is a secret you can use the scruff of their neck and hold them up slightly and it kind of paralyzes them and I don't want to torture Baxter because he doesn't deserve it because he's wonderful but you can do that and then you can open up the mouth and put a pill down the throat. But because when mom when mama cat carries baby cats around, she holds them by the scruff, and their 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 nervous system shuts down then and they become very, very calm. So sometimes you can use that even as a calming thing. What do you think, Baxter? He says, I'm done. So here's uh, Dr. Greg with an itchy cat, Baxter.
and we hope that the cortisone works again. Have a great day. So Baxter had a uh, itchy skin, and cats can get that because of fleas, uh, food allergies, which aren't very common, pollens and molds, which are more common, and cats will sometimes lick at their hindquarters because they might even have anal glands that are filled up. So if your cat's reluctant to use the litter box, and seems like it's straining in the litter box, taking a long time to go to the bathroom, and it isn't a urinary infection. There's no fleas. The anal glands could be a problem, so your vet might check those. But also, cats can be very allergic to things and uh, start licking their hair out, just like Baxter did. Another thing that causes this problem in cats is uh, when they're stressed. Um, new people, new babies, new animals, new animals outside, new noises. All these things can cause cats to become unsettled and they can over groom uh, just because they have anxiety. So that's another thing that will cause this. So you can have fleas, you can have hay fever, you can have anxiety and if they're not itching and they have large areas of, of fur loss on their body that can be rainwater. But anyway, have a great day and check out dogdishdiet.com. have a lot of uh, readers that have started cooking for their dogs and use the same recipes for their cats except for they just add more meat, uh, make sure there's chicken liver in there, use sometimes rice instead of green beans, and uh, then they feed their cats raw meat a few times a week to make up for the amino acids like taurine. So, Check out Dog Dish Diet. Check out my book. Maybe you want to cook for your dog or maybe you want to cook for your cat. And have a great day.